You're watching On The Move with Lady K, brought to you by Afro USA TV. I am reporting right here from uh, Toledo, Ohio, where um, I'm at a Richard Medical Academy, um, meeting one of the directors, uh, uh, one of the leaders here who are driving a, a, a great training program here, empowering men and women to become uh, nurses. Um, it, it's very, very powerful, the program uh, that is run here. And it's an honor to sit down with one of the directors, Ms. Clara Lumpa, who is from Zambia. Ms. Clara, how are you? Very well, thank you. I'm so honored to meet you. Uh, I know that you're one of the brains behind <laughs> Richard Medical Academy, and uh, you've been here from inception right yes yeah. yes yes can you give us a little a brief history of richard medical all right i'll start by uh, just saying welcome to richard medical academy Thank we're you. seeing our students succeed with excellence and integrity is our mission yeah we talk about integrity because you know uh, that's one of the things that we instill in our students yeah. we want them to be doing the right things in a reliable way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, I, I'm coming from Maryland and I uh, came all the way here in Toledo, Ohio, because mm -hmm. we recognize how special this program is and um, that, you know, you're able to train from CNA to LPN, uh, from LPN to RN. How yes. long has this program been going on? Um, the CNA program, mm -hmm. we've been running that for close to 10 years now, mm. uh, if not more than 10 years, mm. yeah. But the LPN program, we uh, started our first intake, we took in our first intake in uh, January mm -hmm. 2013. Mm. And then uh, April of this year, we took in the first intake of our LPN to RN students. Wow, th yeah. that's amazing. And you've been here um, since the start of the program. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. What since is your inception. background, <laughs> may I ask? Are you a nurse? No, I am not a nurse. Mm -hmm. um, I am an MBA. Right. Yes, yeah. yes. But I know, you know, nursing is, is the most satisfying and stimulating career. It is. And our students' uh, success in this field depends entirely yeah. on the effort and the sincerity they give to their education. So I come from a banking background, mm -hmm. but um, I've seen the need for nurses in our area. Yes. So that's how we you know we came about with the idea of starting to train mm -hmm. nurses. Wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. And I'm a nurse by profession, okay. uh, and I'm sure you know that. And so it's amazing that you're coming from a business background mm -hmm. and um, you know empowering a whole generation of uh, mm -hmm. uh, nurses that are graduating year in year out from this program. So I, I think you you actually need a special recognition <laughs> uh you're a great woman oh, thank yeah you. but thank how you. how is the day-to-day -day, um running of the school because you're very involved i am very involved but mm -hmm. i do uh, i mostly take care of the business side right. of it yeah mm -hmm. well, i don't teach uh, like i rightfully said i'm not a nurse mm -hmm. but we have nurses who are employed by the school to mm -hmm. take care of the students needs um, we have very qualified staff here. Right. Um, all our instructors have master's degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Wow. Yeah, you'll that, be coming to a school with uh, very qualified instructors. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been, I've had the opportunity uh, to actually visit some of the classrooms mm -hmm. and some of the labs. And I, I spoke with uh, a lot of the instructors and some of the students. And I see a lot of uh, enthusiasm. Uh, and uh, it, it's just amazing. This is a great place to learn. Uh, and this is a great place to, to, um, to focus. The, the thing about uh, a Toledo, Toledo. Is, is very quiet. <laughs> it is. And uh, I've had a lot of people ask me why yeah. we came to Toledo. Yeah. It's a laid back, uh, you know, 
city. Mm -hmm. There isn't too much activity going on, so it's the best place for you to come yes. to for school because mm -hmm. you will focus on your education right. and nothing else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so for students who are maybe potential students who are watching um, us right now mm -hmm. and maybe thinking of coming from a state like Maryland or maybe even Texas to come here, um, do you foresee any challenges? And if so, how is the school uh, supporting anybody that's coming from out of town? I do not see any, I do not foresee any mm. challenges at all. Mm. Um, if you're coming from a big city, busy cities, yeah. you come here, it's nice and laid back. The school will help you yeah. um, find accommodation. We will help you find good daycare. Mm -hmm. uh, we will work with you. Yeah. We work, you know, with all the students that come in. In fact, most of the students that come here mm -hmm. are out of state students. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, whatever need you have, mm -hmm. we will try to work with you to make sure that you're comfortable wow, that's, while you study. That's amazing, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. So, um, I mean, what what's the future of, of Richard uh, Medical Academy? What do you see uh, in, in the pipeline, <laughs> say, in the next five years? In the next five years, um, we are working on, you know, big things right now. Right. We are hoping to even one day become a university. Woo! Yes. Let's say hey. <laughs> <laughs> we yes. started off with a CNA program, mm -hmm. like I said earlier, that was uh, about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Then we saw the need for, you know, licensed practical nurses. Mm -hmm. We went into that 2013. And when we had those nurses go through our program, everybody was like, you know, why don't you run uh, an RN program as wow. well so that we can continue? Yes. So now we have the RNs and... Yes. They are all, you know, asking for even higher yeah. uh, programs. So mm -hmm. we are so looking into becoming... BSN, MSN, maybe BSN, MSN. I mean, MSN. the sky is not <laughs> even the limit Yes, Richard Medical. That's, yes. that's just amazing. And to have a great woman like you leading this uh, vision here is just amazing. Yeah, so amazing. I know you have a lot of success stories because your students are, you know, moving on, passing their, um, uh, uh, their boards the and boards. they're moving on. Can you share maybe some of the success stories? Oh, yes. yes. I think my biggest success story is yes. um, one of our instructors who came through our CNA program. Wow. I think he came through uh, just when we started. must be the first few uh, CNA classes that we held. Yeah. He went through our program, graduated. Mm -hmm. He didn't stop there. He's now teaching for us. He has a master's. Wow. In so, nursing. In nursing. Yes. So I think that's one of our biggest success stories. I think that's that's just amazing because I actually met him and um, uh, as one of the instructors and just speaking to him, mm -hmm. he just wants to be able to uh, empower uh, more uh, uh, men and women yes. who want yes. to make a great career uh, mm -hmm. of, of nursing. So that's really amazing. And oh, um, yeah. yeah, you guys are doing a wonderful job here. You as a leader, uh, I'm sure the success you owe you know that that success is is owed to you as well because you um put in a lot of effort yeah um, oh yeah. yes mm -hmm. we do you know our staff takes joy in their yes. ability to make a difference mm -hmm. in our students lives yeah. and to help them pursue their goals and objectives in the medical field mm -hmm. so that's why we're here and mm -hmm. uh, we're encouraging more yes. people to come through our program yes. And what, like I said before, we yeah. will help you with whatever needs you have, yes. uh, you know, as far as um, accommodation, yes. daycare, transportation. Mm -hmm. We will give you all the information that you need yeah. to get you started. That's wonderful. Yes. And I also wanted to mention that Miss Clara is actually from Zambia. And, yes. you know, just touring the campus today, I've met students from Cameroon, from Nigeria. The staff is very diverse. So is the student population. Yes. 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 So how is that? I think that's rich. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. is. I yes. am actually very happy to have, you know, a lot mm. of people from from all walks of life yes. and from all over the world, yeah, kind of. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. especially helping my continent, mm -hmm. which is really encouraging because I came here as an immigrant as well. Right. I came in with only a 12th grade certificate. Yeah. 
But I put myself through school. Mm -hmm. I got my diploma. Mm -hmm. I went through, I got my bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. I didn't stop there. I attained my master's in business administration. Yes. And somehow I ended up, you know, working yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I think it's God's plan. <laughs> and you are now empowering a whole future generation of nurses to take care of our sick um, sick people in, in America yes. and all over, all wherever over the they world. decide to go. <laughs> so that's amazing. We want to mm -hmm. congratulate you. We want to um, wish you all the best and um, all encouragement to keep keep up the good work and um, just keep um, enriching our people. Oh, yeah. Thank you so, so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for um, <laughs> allowing us this interview and um, God bless you. God bless you too. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Mama ko, mama sa, mama ko, sa, mama ko, mama 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 sa.